Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Game, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the controls for a game when you're playing on your Steam Deck. So I'm playing Kingdom Come Deliverance, and sometimes I don't like how the dead zones or the joysticks or the button layout is. I can just press the Steam button, and then I can see the game up here. I can just tap that, and then I want to go to the right. And I want to go to controller settings, then go to here, press A. And I can go up to the official button layout here and I can select it and I can kind of see it how it is. Otherwise, you can try a community layout or a template if you want to make your own. Most of the time, community layouts are pretty good, like this one, Kingdom Come Deliverance. This one has like a million hours played on it. And you can just press A on it and check it out and see what all the buttons are. And a lot of times on the Steam Deck, you have to check to see the back button, see if those are actually held to anything. So this has R4 for Sprint. So you can just press X down here to apply it to your character. And I can do that. Maybe I'll do that right now. But then I have to change over my dead zone. So let's just apply this right now. Press X to apply. And that's the new layout here. And then you can see how the back ones have been changed. And make sure you enable the back reps on the top here. All right, and then we have the gyro down here and the trackpad and the joystick sensitivity. So you might want to increase that too. And I think that's fine for me at default. Now I'm going to go to edit layout. And most of this stuff looks good just for the face buttons if I scroll over here. But what I want to do is go to joystick. Then you can see right joystick behavior. I'm going to go to this option. Go to dead zone. Most of the time the dead zones are completely off. So I just want to go to no dead zone here for my right joystick. And then I'm going to go back and do the same thing on my left joystick. So let's go on down, go to dead zone. And then this one already has no dead zone. Good. So that's switched over. And then this should be my new button layout now for Kingdom Come Deliverance, which I don't know if this has uh, um, controller support or not. I believe it's out on the PlayStation, so it should. So let's go back and we can hold this down. And this is kind of goofy. So this may not be the best one to have on. I don't know if they have uh, the touch screen on or maybe the trackpad, what's going on here. Okay, now it's kind of stabilized. I noticed the heptics are on, so I might want to go ahead and turn those off. Also, I might want to add a little bit of dead zone for the uh, stick drift. You can see, since I have no dead zone on, I'm getting some stick drift. So let's go ahead and just change that. So maybe that's not the best option right there. So let's go back up to here, the right stick, go down to dead zone. Instead of no zone, let's go to uh, custom and just put on just a little bit of dead zone here so we don't actually get stick drift so let's go to like two or three would be fine press done and then we can go back do the same thing with the left one so if you got dead zone you definitely want to go ahead and do this so this one is or if you have stick drift you want to do this and bring this up to like three and then if we go back again it shouldn't be all wonky like that all right, let's go back. Let's go back to the game. And boom. Stick drift should be gone once this oh, stabilizes and it works again. I don't know why it's taking a while for this to work. But hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on your six gaming.